Hello, welcome to another devlog. Um, it hasn't been long since the last one, but as I've said that I'm trying to keep these things short. Um, and I've made a bunch of progress on one specific thing. I thought I should make another one and um, keep it short. Keep it short. Um, so, uh, you can see through the window the, the big changes that uh, I've started to build the exterior and we can oh I've uh, changed this picture a bit as well if you remember it was too too, too fiddly too detailed so this is what I've been working on for the past few days and uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out um, I've always wanted or since the beginning I've planned on having uh, the, the outside of the house the street uh, in game and I've working on doing that uh, I didn't want to model a whole street and I'm certainly not going to build the, the whole town or anything like that um, but what I've gone for is this I've built one house model and um, it's got a bunch of features on it that can be randomized and changed and then I've written a whole bunch of codes to, to place in a whole load of these models randomize the features and, and make a whole street. Um, so far, I've just built one model of house, which is what you can see. And I think even with this, um, there's enough variation and things going on that it, it doesn't look terrible. Um, the one thing that... Uh, my initial plan was to build three different house models and stick them in. Seeing how it looks with just one, I'm not sure that that's necessary, although that really stands out, the fact that the, the place where you live is different. And I knew that that was going to happen. Um, so, uh, what I think I'm going to do probably is leave the street system for now. Like, I've got all of the aspects of it working that I want to work um, and then come back to it later once I've uh, finalized the the main house model and then I can build a simpler version of this house in order to make some repetitions of, of that building as well along the streets um, although it does kind of dominate a little bit um, you know it's it's a lot bigger than the stuff near it so then there's a couple of other things I might do. I think I'm going to make uh, one other house, which will be a bungalow, a single story, um, to make everything less uniform and to provide just some more variation in, in height and things. And um, maybe that's it, like a model like the main house and a bungalow, and with those two, uh, probably that's enough for for the street. Uh, oh, you can see my uh, some of my stuff up in the sky. Uh, for now, things uh, that I'm I want in Unity but are not part of the game go way up in the sky. Um. So what else? Yeah. Okay. So what do the houses consist of? So, um, as to the the main model, the there's just colouring that can change. So all of the, the details, there are in fact two, uh, can I find an example of this? Not instantly. Um, yeah, here we go. So there are two different detail colours uh, and when it picks a colour, it either picks one, makes them both the same, or two different but complementary. Uh, these two are both two different colors um, to, to make the, the details stand out and then I have a bunch of other little bits that I can meld on so we've got s some satellite dishes there are two different types of satellite dishes and there are six different places on the model where it can put them there are some different TV aerials where almost all the houses will have them not all of them I mean it's good to have a few of that Almost all of them have at least one, a lot have two, 
and there are a couple of different models of TV aerial. You can see two different ones up there. The chimneys, also some of them have chimneys, some of them don't. And there are a couple of different types of chimney. Um, and then in the gardens, we've got some uh, different models that can appear in the garden. There's a sundial there and a tree stump there. The texture of the floor can be different. There are different types of fences and walls and hedges that can come in. Um, a lot of the houses have wheelie bins. A few of them have uh, old-fashioned bins, which don't quite stand out enough. I need to put some colour variation in them, I think. Um, and there are some other little pots and things that can go in there. Uh, I'm not 100% um, complete on all of this. There are a few things that don't work. I think this is my attempt to make a tiling gravel texture and it doesn't it doesn't look great. I'll come back to that. So that's, that's some texture work for later. Um, I like the, the brick pavings. I want to have the possibility of having stuff here along under the windows, um, flower beds or... Um, or more pots, probably mostly flower beds. But uh, I've been doing tests and things on foliage, and I haven't. I'm not 100% convinced. So um, I really like how these hedges look. They're very simple, but not completely straight. I think that works well. This is my grass uh, attempt, and I can't decide if I like it or not. It doesn't look amazing right now because I haven't got any anti-aliasing on or I haven't got enough anti-aliasing on, but um, it's just so busy and I want to keep busyness to a minimum. Uh, on the other hand, I like the effect and the different colours and things and um, maybe the grass is okay or maybe I just simplify the textures, make all of the blades of the grass bigger. Uh, I don't know exactly. Um, but yeah, so there's a little bit more to add, but the system is is basically there. Um, and well, you see right there, I think that looks good. Um, I, uh, I go backwards and forwards on that, so who knows. And then, and then there are cars in the street um, I've only built two different models of cars. You can see them both here. There's sort of a boxier one and a more curvy one. Again, I was initially planning on making three different cars, and I think maybe two is enough. I think that's that's probably probably don't need any more. Um, they they are just furniture. There's not any gameplay significance to having cars or or any story significance. So two cars can probably do and then I'm thinking about what to do in terms of um, street furniture I don't want to put a lot in um, I don't want loads of signs and things but I will at the very least put um, put lamp posts in the street um, and I was wondering about telegraph poles and I think that would be cool there is a slight problem with telegraph poles which is that I'll need to learn how I can then draw wires procedurally between houses and poles and I don't know what the answer is to that um, I think it will look cool with them so we'll see we'll see for now, I think I've probably, it's probably time for me to stop work on the street and leave it as it is in kind of a, um, a pretty good, pretty good first pass and there and work on other stuff, which is more pressing, uh, get some other features in and then maybe come back and do another, another bunch of detail on the street later. 
on the other hand, the the fact that the the house where you live is different to all the others does make it easy to identify and know where you are. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so well, that's moderately short for me. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's what I've been working on the past few days. Um, it's gone pretty well, and uh, let's see what's up next. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.